Hello everybody, welcome back to my tutorials. In this video we are going to talk about movements of colon. So first of all let's go through the basics of large intestine. As you people know this is a typical structure of large intestine. Large intestine is divided into three parts colon, rectum and anus. And colon itself is divided into five parts okay. So this part of the colon is known as cecum. This part is the cecum, then comes the ascending colon, okay? And this portion is known as the ascending colon, and this portion is known as transverse colon, okay? This portion is known as descending colon, and after descending colon comes the sigmoid colon, okay? So this portion is known as sigmoid colon, and after sigmoid colon, there is rectum and anus, okay? So colon itself is divided into five parts, cecum, ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, sigmoid colon, okay. After knowing the basics of large intestine, now let's go through movements of colon, okay. First of all, there comes principal functions of colon. Principal functions of colon do hai, that is absorption and storage. Absorption mein kya hota hai? There is absorption of water and electrolytes from the chyme to form solid feces. Or storage mein kya hota hai? There is storage of fecal matter until it can be expelled. Okay. So there is absorption of water and electrolytes. Okay. And storage is of fecal matter. Now let's come to these two points. Proximal half of colon deals with absorption. If we come to proximal portion, proximal portion is cecum and ascending colon. Mostly cecum, okay? This portion of uh, large intestine deals with absorption. Distal half of colon deals with storage. So distal portion comes the sigmoid colon. This portion deals with storage, okay? Then movements of colon are sluggish. So movements which are present in colon are very slow, okay? Now, movements in colon can be divided into, so movements in colon can be divided into mixing movements and propulsive movements. Mixing movements are known as hostrations, while as propulsive movements are known as mass movements, okay? Now we will go through these two movements. First of all, let's go to hostrations, okay? So, like small intestines, the name of mixing movements is segmentation. Large intestines, the name of mixing movements is hostrations, okay? Hostrations are in large intestines. These are large circular constriction movements, okay? So, what is in hostrations? There is contraction of longitudinal muscle as well as circular muscle. What is it? It will cause unstimulated portion of large intestine to bulge outward. And there is a bag like structure banaya gaya jinhe hum hostations kehte okay so there will be contraction of longitudinal muscle as well as circular muscle after knowing these things now let's come towards mechanism of hostation okay mechanism of hostation okay first of all there must be presence of chyme in colon okay and due to presence of chyme there will be distension of gut wall presence of chyme in colon causes distension of gut wall okay and due to this distension there will be elicitation of local myentric plexus okay local myentric plexus mainly deals with the movements of git okay and after local myentric plexus is elicited it will cause contraction of longitudinal and circular muscle so both of these muscles will be contracted and it will result in hostration okay that is the mixing movement so, इसके बाद थोड़े से और points आते हैं that are hostation peak. So, uh, hostation peak जो है it reaches after 30 seconds. After 30 seconds के बाद there will be hostation peak. Okay? And disappearance during next 30 seconds. So, after this 30 second, उसके बाद क्या होने वाला है? There is going to be next 60 seconds के बाद there will be disappearance. सबसे पहले ये 30 seconds होंगे, so there will be peak. And after जब ये वाले 30 seconds हो जाएंगे, फिर अगले 60 seconds होंगे, there will be disappearance of hostation. Okay? And this point is regarding absorption. Okay? So in large intestine, due to progressive absorption, only 80 to 200 milliliters of feces are expelled each day. Okay? This point is regarding absorption. Okay? After knowing about the mixing movements of large intestine that are hostations, now let's go through propulsive movements. Propulsive movements in small intestines are known as peristalsis, while as propulsive movements in large intestine are known as mass movements. Okay? Or jo mass movements hai, the ye movements khali large intestines mein present hoti hai. Okay? Now, what are mass movements? These are modified type of peristalsis, and these movements usually occur one to three times each day. Okay? Now let's come to mechanism. 
how the process of mass movement is initiated okay so after entrance of chyme formation of constricting ring occurs in distended point of colon usually in transverse colon kya hota hai jaise hi there is entrance of chyme there will be formation of constricting ring okay aur jo constricting ring hai ye kahan pe hogi it will be uh, it will take place jahan pe colon ka distension hoga jahan pe colon bulge out hoga aur wo kahan pe hota hai it uh, usually takes place in transverse colon okay then rapidly distal to constriction it contracts as a unit 27 20 सेंटीमीटर और मोर सो उसके बाद क्या होता है जैसे कंस्ट्रिक्टिंग कंस्ट्रिक्शन रिंग जो फॉर्म होती है उसके बाद क्या होता है 20 सेंटीमीटर डिस्टल टू दिस रिंग क्या होने वाला है दैट्स टूअर्ड द एनस जो पार्ट वहाँ पे लाई करेगा इट विल कंट्रैक्ट एज ए होल ओके सो यहाँ पे अगर कंस्ट्रिक्शन रिंग फॉर्म हो गई है ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर डिस्टल टू दिस रिंग इट विल कंट्रैक्ट एज ए होल विच फोर्स इज द फीकल मैटर फर्दर डाउनवर्ड सो जो ये वाला स्टेप है इससे क्या होने वाला है जो फीकल मैटर प्रेजेंट होगा it will move further downward that's toward the anus and it will result in complete disappearance of hostration okay so jab bhi mass movement hogi wahan pe kya hone wala hai finally there will there will be complete disappearance of hostration okay so this was the mechanism how mass movement takes takes place okay mass movements last for 30 seconds okay the time interval for mass movement is 30 seconds then the relaxation occurs during next 2 to 3 minutes aur uske baad kya hota hai next 2 ya 3 minutes ke baad there will be relaxation okay so mass movement forces the feces into rectum okay so jo ye propulsive movement hai mass movement hai large intestine ki iska main uh, function kya hai it forces the feces into rectum okay so guys this was all about the movements of colon thank you guys for watching this video